from diagnosing medical conditions to composing poetry to the popularity of ChatGPT. The field of artificial intelligence or AI has long been inspired by the human brain. While AI aces in quickly processing huge amounts of data and crunching numbers, the human brain remains unparalleled in its ability to make complex decisions with little energy. That is why, for example, AI and robots are unable to crack the trivial image tests online that websites use for us to prove our humanity. What if instead of trying to make AI more brain-like, we went straight to the source? In this episode, I talk about how scientists across multiple disciplines are working to create biocomputers where 3D mini brains or brain organoids serve as biological hardware to create what they call organoid intelligence or OI. I am Mohana Basu and this is Pure Science. Organoids are three-dimensional or 3D structures that are derived from stem cells, which are undifferentiated cells that have the ability to develop into different types of specialized cells in the body. Organoids can mimic the architecture and function of specific organs. They are typically created in the lab by growing stem cells in a culture that provides the necessary signals for them to differentiate and organize into a miniature version of an organ. Organoids can be used to study disease progresses and drug responses in the lab as they closely resemble the real life conditions of the organ they represent. For example, scientists can use brain organoids to study neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's or Parkinson's or intestinal organoids to study diseases like inflammatory bowel disease. Brain organoids share key aspects of brain function and structure such as neurons and other brain cells that are essential for cognitive functions like learning and memory. The 3D structure also increases the culture's cell density thousandfold, meaning that neurons can form many more connections. Researchers now believe that these organoids can launch a new era of fast, powerful and efficient biocomputing. The question remains if computers are faster than our brains and brain organoids are a good imitation of brains, why would they make good computers? According to the experts from John Hopkins, while silicon-based computers are better with numbers, brains are better at learning. So for example, AlphaGo, the AI system that beat the world's number one Go player in 2017, had to be trained on data from 160,000 games. A person would have to play five hours a day for more than 175 years to experience these many games. But a human can learn how to play the game far more quickly. Brains are not only superior learners, they are also more energy efficient. For instance, the amount of energy spent training AlphaGo would have sustained an active adult for a decade. Moreover, brains can have more capacity to store information and estimate it 2500 terabyte. Storing that much data in hard drives would fill up the space equivalent to a shipping container. While scientists are reaching the physical limits of silicon computers because they cannot pack more transistors into a tiny chip, the brain is wired completely differently. It has about 100 billion neurons linked through over 1015 connection points. That represents an enormous power difference compared to our current technology. Now, what would organized intelligence biocomputers look like? According to the scientists, current brain organoids will need to be scaled up for OI. At present, each brain organoid contains about 50,000 cells. For OI, it would need to increase to 10 million. But it is not enough to develop the organoids. Scientists also need to be able to communicate with them in order to train them. In other words, to send them information and read out what they are thinking. For this, the researchers plan to adapt tools from various scientific disciplines such as bioengineering and machine learning as well as engineer new stimulation and recording devices. 
The team has already developed a brain-computer interface that is a kind of an EEG cap for organoids. It is a flexible shell that is densely covered with tiny electrodes that can pick up signals from the organoid and transmit signals to it. EEG caps are currently used in humans to read brain signals. They are also used in stroke patients to assist in therapies for restoring movement in body parts that have undergone paralysis. The research team believes that eventually OI would integrate a wide range of stimulation and recording tools. These will orchestrate interactions across networks of interconnected organoids that implement more complex computations. OI's promise goes beyond computing and into medicine. Thanks to a groundbreaking technique developed by Nobel laureates John Gurdon and Shinya Yamanaka, brain organoids can be produced from adult tissues. This means that scientists can develop personalized brain organoids from skin samples of patients suffering from neural disorders such as Alzheimer's disease. They can then run multiple tests to investigate how genetic factors, medicines and toxins influence these conditions. For example, researchers could compare memory formation in organoids derived from healthy people and from Alzheimer's patients and try to repair relative deficits. OI can also be used to test whether certain substances such as pesticides cause memory or learning problems. With new technologies arise new questions of ethics. Creating human brain organoids that can learn, remember and interact with their environment raises complex ethical questions. For example, could they develop consciousness even in a rudimentary form? Could they experience pain or suffering? And what rights would people have concerning brain organoids made from their cells? But the researchers say that a key part of their vision is to develop OI in an ethical and socially responsible manner. For this reason, the team has also partnered with ethicists from initial stage to establish an embedded ethics approach. The team claims that all ethical issues will be continuously assessed by the teams made up of scientists, ethicists and the public as the research evolves. Even though OI is still in its infancy, the team published a study in the journal Frontiers of Science that outlines the proof of concept. The team showed that a normal flat brain cell culture can learn to play the video game Pong. The team is already testing the game with brain organoids. According to the researchers, just the fact that the experiment can be replicated with brain organoids already fulfills the basic definition of OI. From here on, the researchers say it's just a matter of building the community, the tools and the technologies to realize OI's full potential. This is Mohana Basu, Assistant Editor at The Print. If you like our work, do consider paying for a subscription to The Print. You can do so through the link in the description box below.